Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today I want to shed some light on the differences between direct-to-garment, or DTG, and direct-to-film, also known as DTF, to help you decide which one is right for you and your t-shirt business. Now, while both are crazy cool inkjet-based digital printing technologies, there's a few differences and capabilities to keep in mind when you're planning to invest in one of these for your business. So are you ready? Let's dive in. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We are kicking out new videos like this one every single week. Now starting off, let's chat about direct to garment First brought to market in the early 2000s, but it wasn't really commercially viable or common to see used until almost a decade later. Now, direct-to-garment printing allows for full color images and extreme detail on t-shirts, all without the need for color separations or a ton of screens for screen printing, and all of the hassle with registering all of those colors too, making full color artwork more affordable for low quantities of t-shirts. Now, of course, direct-to-garment machines print much slower than the high efficiency of screen printing presses and require quite a few chemicals and steps to finish a t-shirt. But more on that in just a minute. Now, direct to film or DTF has taken the apparel decorating industry by storm, exploding in popularity specifically after 2020 here. Now, helping fuel the growth of the industry as a whole and allowing a more cost-effective option for decorators just getting started out. Essentially, all you need is a heat press, right? So direct-to-film printing uses the same principles as direct-to-garment, but instead of printing inks directly to the t-shirt fabric, inks are printed on a plastic carrier to then be heat applied to the garment. Now there's some pros and cons to each method, so let's go ahead and break them down right here. Now first with direct-to-garment or DTG. Of course, you have full color printing capabilities in any quantity. Direct-to-garment inks are durable and feel great on the garment, almost like a soft hand screen print. You could have images fade away into the garment with soft edges and without screens and setup, personalization is easier than say with screen printing. Now with white ink as an underbase, you could have vibrant colors and opaque prints on a variety of fabric colors, light or dark. Now the downsides start with cost. Direct to garment printers are a hefty investment. And for the most part, you're limited to 100% cotton garments only. Sure, there are solutions now for printing on polyester, but if you're like most decorators, you don't have six figures to drop on a printer capable of printing those synthetic fibers. Another downside, time. Most commercial direct to garment printers max out at one shirt per two minutes. And that's print time, not accounting for loading or unloading of shirts from the press. Now, of course, there are fast printers, but those are going to come at a premium price. Then, of course, you have to have the chemical pretreatment to allow the inks to bond to the fabric, adding additional steps to the process. Now, after printing, you'll need to cure the print, either with a heat press or a commercial garment dryer. So with the added equipment, you're taking up a lot more space in your shop. Now, with owning a direct-to-garment printer yourself, you have to take into consideration stocking supplies, the regular maintenance to keep your machine running smooth, and otherwise your print quality may suffer, i.e. banding in your prints. Now, lastly, if you don't know RIP software or color management, you're going to have to learn it. This software tweaks the settings for taking your image from a computer screen to a vibrant print on a shirt that looks great. So let's shift over and look at direct to film. Again, we have full color capabilities, incredible detail and a durable print on the garment that feels lighter than most heat transfers. Maybe not quite as light of hand feel on the garment as direct to garment, but very, very close. Now, while you can't fade to the garment color on the edges of your artwork, you still have a white base layer printed underneath your artwork for opaque prints and vibrant colors regardless of the fabric color. And the big benefit? Direct to film prints on cotton, polyester, blended garments like 50-50s and tri-blends along with spandex fabrics. Direct to film prints quicker than direct to garment and typically applies to the fabric with a heat press just like this one 
in 15 seconds or less. Just like our Ultra Color Max transfers here at Stalls and Transfer Express. Now, the downsides of direct to film start with the print capabilities of not being able to fade to the garment, like we mentioned earlier. You'll need adhesive behind the inks, and without it, the print's not going to stick, so you are limited to, say, hard defined edges. Now, the same as with direct to garment, if you plan to own a printer yourself, you'll need to stock the supplies, the inks, and the materials and prepare for maintenance. While there's no pre-treatment required with direct-to-film, you'll still need methods to melt the adhesive and have proper ventilation in your space to do so. We actually put together a video with a deep dive into direct-to-film printing and everything you should know before investing. We'll link that one right here. Now, one of which is the replacement parts. With DTF still being relatively new to the market, replacement parts and information on how to fix machines is a little hard to find. Keep that in mind when shopping around and see if there's a dedicated customer service line that you could call for help before you put all of your eggs into one basket purchasing one of those machines. Now, of course, purchasing pre-made DTF transfers is incredibly affordable just six cents a square inch from us here at Transfer Express. And without the upfront investment into machines, it's really easy and a super low risk way to integrate DTF capabilities into your business. The only equipment that you're going to need is a heat press to apply those prints to apparel. Now it's an easy step before diving in head first. You may even find that you can maintain those profit margins without the need for any added equipment or added expenses. Now, I know we primarily covered just the basics here, but we could keep the conversation going in the comments section down below. Let us know what you think about your experience with either direct to film or direct to garment. Now, of course, if you do want to try direct to film for yourself, we'd be happy to send you some free samples. We'll even cover the shipping on them, no risk or obligation to you. You can get your free sample pack over at the link that we'll put right here or down in the video description. Now, be sure you're subscribed here to the Transfer Express YouTube page to stay up to date on all of the helpful t-shirt printing tips, tricks, inspiration, and education that we're dropping every single week right here. So subscribe, all right, right there. Click it, click subscribe. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing.